Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what we're gonna be doing in this video is solving this fun, interesting percent problem. So this is a pretty basic percent problem, but some of you might be a little confused by it. Let's go ahead and read the problem. It says, what percent of 550 is 132? And uh, for this particular problem, feel free to use a calculator. That is definitely not a problem. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer. And then, of course, we're going to solve this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to emphasize the importance of percent. I mean, a lot of people study math. They're like, hey, am I ever going to use this algebra stuff or trigonometry? I'll never use that in my uh, life. Why even do it? You know, why even learn it? Because I'll never use it. Well, you know, maybe you can make a case for that, right? Like, you know, do you need algebra to survive in this world? No, definitely not. Okay. But if you want to be really aware of your surroundings in the real world, you know, it's a good idea to know a lot about percent. Just think about how often you see this per symbol, uh, this symbol every day, right? You go to the store, there's sales going on. Hey, 15% off, uh, you know, do this now. You save, you know, 30%. You know, they're talking about inflation, which of course affects our money. Matter of fact, percent is often very closely uh, tied to, you know, discussions about money in terms of interest rates, credit card rates, mortgage rates, and everything else. So if you like money and you'd like to protect your money and grow your money and understand your money, well, then you're definitely going to need to know percent. So maybe, you know, find that thing that motivates you if it's money or if it's passing your math class, whatever it is, I'm just telling you right now, the more, the more you know about percent, the better off you're going to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, answer this question right now. What percent of 550 is 132? Well, the correct answer is 24%. All right, so hopefully this was pretty easy for most of you out there. And if you got this right, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that yes, indeed, you understand percent and uh, you'll charge them a small percent of their money if they need some math help with their finances, something like that, right? So that's another great thing, knowing math, that you can be like uh, the person they go to, right, for extra help. And who knows, maybe you'll turn into a math tutor and make like 20 bucks an hour. That's pretty cool, right? And uh, by the way, too, in terms of tutoring, so many might say, oh, I wish I could find a tutor for $20 an hour. You know how much a great tutor costs, like a high school level, uh, 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 you know, top math tutors? Sometimes they go for like 100 plus uh, dollars per hour. So if that motivates you to learn more math, well, that's fantastic as well. Whatever does the trick, of course, I'm just trying to encourage you to master percent. Okay, so let's get into this solution now. So let's just review some basic things about percent. All right, so what is percent? Well, you know, there's kind of a technical definition of percent, and that's basically comparing a number to 100. Okay, so that's, it's a, you know, we can even make it more technical. It's a ratio uh, that compares a number to 100. Basically, it's a fraction where the denominator is 100. So, for example, 7%, we can write that as 7 over 100. Of course, uh, this is uh, better expressed as 7%. Okay, now this 7 over 100 I can write this fraction here, okay, again, the definition of percent, we're just comparing a number to 100, but 7 over 100, I can write as a decimal 0 0.07, right? If I go into my calculator, take 7 divided by 100, I get the decimal 0 0.07. So this decimal and this fraction are both equivalent to this uh, right here, this notation, 7%. Now, there's another way to kind of think about percent, and that is a part out of a whole, okay? So let's suppose I have a pizza here, let's say, and there's four slices, one, two, three, four, and I wanted to know um, uh, how many, uh, what percent of the pizza is three slices, okay? So here I have uh, a pizza with four slices. So what percent uh, is three out of four, right? So three would be the part, 
okay? And the whole pizza is four, okay? So uh, when you um, are solving percent problems, a good model uh, is also to think about what is the part, what is the whole. So three out of four, okay, would represent that percent. But here, again, this is a fraction. So we can kind of convert that to a decimal. That would be three divided by four, which is 0.75 but we want to express that as a percent. So we would multiply this by 100 and we would get to 75%. Now, hopefully this is kind of review uh, for most of you out there. Like, okay, yes, I get that. But uh, some of you probably forgot like the technical uh, definition of percent. And you know, you don't have to totally remember this, but it's a good idea just to review these concepts. All right, now let's go ahead and get into our actual problem. And that is what percent of 550 is 132. Now we know we're gonna to have to do stuff. We're gonna probably have to divide and whatnot. And if you got this problem right, but you were guessing, well, that's not really good either, right? So we really wanna be in control of what's going on because oftentimes you can get something correct, right? like a multiple choice question, but you know, you just did some stuff on your calculator and just happened to get it right. So in this particular problem, a good model to use here is to think of percent as a part out of the whole. Okay, so what percent of 550 is 132? So let me ask you, what number is representing the whole and what number is representing the part? Okay, can you kind of think about that for a second? Because if you can identify that, then you can solve this problem. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual solution right now. And hopefully this is what most of you came up with. So again, we're gonna think of percent as a part out of the whole, so the part is 132, right? So what percent of 550 is 132? So this is the total amount, 550, and we're talking about a part of that, right? 132. So we really gotta have to read this problem carefully. What percent of 550, that is our whole, is 132? 132 is a part. It's a 132 is a part of 550. So we can make that comparison this way, part out of the whole. So 132 out of 550. But here, this is a fraction. What we want is a percent. So we're going to take this to the next step. All right, so we're going to take this fraction and we're going to convert it to a decimal. So we're just going to go into our calculator, take 132 divided by 550, and we get the lovely decimal 0.24. All right, so again, we want a percent. We're not there yet, but we do have a decimal. So how can I convert a decimal to a percent? Easy, just multiply by 100. So 0.24 uh, times 100, which is effectively the same thing as moving a decimal point over two places to the right, and you get 24%. So that is our final answer. But, uh, you know, hopefully this problem wasn't that difficult. But, uh, you know, what I really wanted to do was to just review some of these basic definitions of basic uh, concepts of percent, okay? And uh, this is only, um, you know, for certain types of percent prompts, okay? There's all different sorts of percent prompts, like percent of increase, percent of decrease. Oftentimes, you're gonna be using algebra to solve percent prompts. So if you need help with basic math or percent, let me give you a couple additional suggestions here. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel, additional videos on percent, all different types of um, you know, flavors and variety of percent problems. But if you're looking for a more formal course of uh, instruction, especially for basic math, for those of you that are kind of getting back into math and need a great little refresher course, check out my Math Foundations course. Of course, you can find it at my Math Help program under the middle and high school math section. It's a little mini course. I cover uh, percent, decimals, fractions, order of operations, positive and negative numbers. I mean, just a ton of stuff to kind of really get you a strong foundation for uh, more uh, interesting math like algebra and beyond. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.